think about like 2000, the park was just a bunch of big wooden ramps made for bikers and scooter riders or blade riders, but slowly over time it just became more concrete, obstacle by obstacle, it became more street skating oriented, just slowly over time kept growing and growing to what it is today, to the point where it's more concrete than wood at this point. Well, that's the first cool part is it's not even really an official park. It's it kind of started as one fell apart and we made it our own and people just started building in the middle of the night not even being allowed to and the town realized people had talent with their building and they said hey let's support it so that alone is cool enough but the, all my friends are there. You Any time of day, any day of the week, cold, burning hot, you show up people are going to be there. You're most likely going to know them. It's an amazing place with a lot of great people and when you say I'm going to Anvan it's basically saying I'm gonna go have a blast with my friends like you can't say that about every park Community is a big part of our park, like, especially me, I'm 22 now, and best friend Danny, he's 24, like, we realize we're the adults now, that's as scary as that is, like, there's no one else gonna be coming around and helping us with it, like, we gotta step up and be the ones to do it, like, I'm sure if we sat there and cried about it, somebody would do it, but why do that when you can step up, be your own person, and have things be the way you want them to be, like, Get involved with the town, get involved with the people, like, start making moves, like, that's what it's about. And then you doing stuff makes other people want to do stuff, like, you go paint over some graffiti and somebody else is like, oh, I'm gonna go pick up the trash. Somebody else is like, oh, I'm gonna go clean up this area, like, it just keeps evolving to other communities, other people's lives, like, it's amazing. When people started taking in their own direction, they kind of saw that as a good thing, like the next people stepping up and just kind of orienting their environment more towards what they wanted to be. And I don't think the town really had a problem with that. Now it's kind of like the same thing. We're given so much freedom. We're allowed to stay there super late. We're allowed to have a bunch of people there. It's it's not an issue because they know we're responsible people. We, we keep the good in, keep the bad out, and that's how we've been, and that's how we plan on keeping it. So we're very grateful for that freedom, and we definitely show that in the way we act and how we conduct ourselves. So.